we keep this show going. Next comic, super funny. You may recognize him from the videos on Facebook. Give it up for Jacob Lee. <laughs> I went on a hike 
the other day? And I found this little baby crying in some bushes. And I was so shocked because I put it there like a week ago. <laughs> Alright, so you guys took that shit way too slow. I don't hike. <laughs> so I don't know if this has ever happened to you guys before, but I got my drink switched at a coffee shop and it like mentally changed me. <laughs> Like, what I thought I ordered was just a, a regular coffee, but what they gave me was a pumpkin spice latte. So when I took the first sip, I was like, oh my god! This is amazing! Oh my god, where do you find leggings? I turned into a basic bitch for about 30 minutes. I couldn't snap out of it, guys. I just walked around Starbucks like, oh my god, I love your house. What's it going on? Those are going perfect with my leggings. <laughs> oh, <right ahead. laughs> Saw this one guy coming out of the AT&T store and he dropped his receipt on the ground. And when I told him about it, he was a dick to me. Like, I was just trying to be nice. I was like, hey, dude, you dropped your receipt. He's like, I'll give shit, you pick it up. I was like, okay. <laughs> but when I picked it up, I had the dude's name and phone number on it. <laughs> and when I saw that, I was like, yeah, I'm gonna mess with this guy. <laughs> so I sent him the scariest text that I could think of. And it was just like, hey, dad. trying to be nice to people in public. Like, I held the door open for this lady once, and she got super pissed off at me. She goes, oh my god, pervert, what the hell? I was like, what? She goes, this is the women's recipe. I was like, it's a door. Bitch, um... I got yelled at once for using the women's restroom. I came out of this drunk lady got super mad at me. She goes, I mean, are you serious? Seriously, did you just use the women's restroom? I was like, chill out, I put the toilet seat down. And then I looked at her and I was like, welcome to Target. I took you guys a minute to get that one. Yeah, I'm transitioning. Stupid. Oh, you know what I don't understand? I don't understand leashes for kids. Like, I understand a leash for a dog because I don't want to lose my dog. I don't really talk about this a lot on stage, but uh, you guys seem like a cool crowd. So I'm 32 years old and I have a 15-year-old son. So if you do the math on that, my parents are gonna talk to me about sex. <laughs> and I took him to a theme park recently and I noticed that the way the girls dress that are around his age, I'm like, holy hell, whores. <laughs> How'd you get out of the house looking like that? Do you have parents? <laughs> and then I started getting really scared, like, oh my god, what if history repeats itself? <laughs> I can become a grandpa in my 30s, guys. <laughs> and then I looked over at my son, he had food on his face and his shirt, and I was like, nah, I'm good. <laughs> you know what I don't get? I don't understand when women get upset when guys pee all over the toilet seat and the floor. Like, I'm sorry, ladies, I apologize, but you have no idea what it's like to pee while standing, and then all of a sudden, get the chills. <laughs> Get the chills. You guys are like, whoo! It's kind of chilly in here. When the guy's peeing standing up, he gets the chills. It's like, oh my god! 
It's even worse for a black guy. It's like, oh, Because nobody talks about my mom like that. That's it. 